Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Oh my goodness. It's messages from Divine Masculine. Oh, Divine Masculine. So sad. Oh, so sad. That Divine Masculine. Guys, I was looking at the reading from yesterday and what a nightmare. Divine Masculine's life situation must be right now. You think yours is bad. <laughs> you ain't seen shit. That guy or gal, as the case may be, right? Your twin flame. So-called divine masculine, maybe female, as is mine. I am what you call divine feminine. Anyway, their situation, the wheels are really falling off that shit. And I know, I know, you think everything for them is going great. Maybe you don't. Maybe you realize how not so great things really are, right? You're looking at their Instagram. You're looking at their Facebook and you're looking at those like literally a hundred times a day. But anyway, <laughs> you're looking and what do you got? Looks great. Everything looks fine. Yeah, no problem. Divine masculine, their life situation. Looking fine. Looking just like the fucking shit. Well, don't be fooled, guys. Remember, what do I always tell you guys? Social media, everybody's shit posting. Everybody's fucking saying how great their life is. It ain't. Divine masculine, everything's falling apart. The wheels are falling off that shit. Why? Because you're ascending divine feminine. And here's the thing. I want to make this perfectly crystal clear. We're not out to get divine masculine. It's not really like karma or destiny or anything like that. I mean, those things can be true. I don't want to knock the concepts of karma and destiny. Although if you really want to understand um, destiny and even karma, you might go watch my video called The Science of Destiny. But regardless, here's the thing, and I even point this out in that video. You're a creator, guys, right? You're a creator, and with your twin flame, that's no exception. It's balls to the walls, guys. It's no holds barred, right? You are your twin flame. You are them. They are you in another body. It's one soul, two bodies. Everybody knows that twin flames are the same soul. Okay, so what does this have to do with divine masculine's life situation going to shit? <laughs> it's got everything to do with it, guys. Here's the thing. Sometimes you got to tear down the old piece of shit shack first before you can build the big, beautiful crystal castle in its place. Sometimes you got to tear down the old piece of shit shack first before you can build the big, beautiful crystal castle in its place. Okay, so old things, they got to die, they got to go by the wayside, you know, the old has to go out with the old and with the new, and change can be painful, right? Sometimes it's not nice. Now, it doesn't have to be that way. When you're in alignment and you're living your best life and you're living with purpose and you're living with intention, change can be beautiful. It's not painful at all. It's, it, it's, it doesn't have to be. It's not. It's fucking totally not. And you just have faith through that process. Now... For Divine Masculine, it just so happens, it's painful. They're not there yet. They're still creating through the matrix. Manifesting is still unconscious for them, right? And that's the thing about the law of attraction. You're always manifesting. There's not really a law of attraction per se. You're just a creator. That's what you are. The universe is just matching what you're being, right? Right. It's just most people are totally asleep at the wheel, totally unconscious of the fact that they are a creator. So when things manifest, they don't see the connection between what they're being and the manifestation because of the illusion of time, right? You and I, as spiritual people, however, Divine Feminine, we know, we understand that there's no fucking such thing as time at all. It's actually an illusion, and that's why we perceive things as destiny and karma and all these kinds of things. 
Now, that doesn't make it any less fun. Now, back to my original question. Why is divine masculine suffering? Why has that been going? And this just doesn't look any different. So far, the cards that I'm looking at, it, it actually looks worse than it did yesterday. <laughs> Except for you, I mean, everything, how they're feeling towards you, it's I'm sorry, and what am I going to do, and, you know, I kind of fucked her, him or her over, Divine Feminine, right? And they're feeling that, and so they're going to be apologizing. But why is this all happening? Why the changes? Why the painful shifts for Divine Masculine? Why? Why? Why, why, why? Right? I've been asking that question now for 5 minutes and 42 seconds. Okay, here's the answer. Because you're changing Divine Feminine... Ah, now I tie everything together. What did I say earlier? You are your twin flame. Everybody knows that twin flames are one soul in two bodies. And it is true. They are you in another body. That's all this is, right? Right. So the further you ascend, the deeper that you align with your soul, which is your twin flame, that's when their fucking life situation falls apart, paving the way for you guys to be together. Boom! Nailed it! Their life situation falls apart, paving the way for you two to be together forever. Forever and ever. Oh, what am I going to do without you, Divine Feminine? I don't know, but right now you got yourself eight very empty cups, Divine Masculine. All in the reverse. Eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Ah, this is not nice, guys. And there's going to be a reckoning. Soon, between you and Divine Masculine, there's going to be lots of apologies. But right now, Divine Masculine is fucking broken hearted. Keep watching. Okay, right here, guys. Right off the bat. Right off the freaking bat. What did I tell you? Justice in reverse. Justice in reverse. So, Divine Masculine, recent past. Can't finish what I started. Not getting what I deserve. Um, and guys, they're doing it to themselves. <laughs> they're doing it to themselves. They keep repeating these old cycles, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, so the hanged man next to the knight of cups. Mm-hmm, towards the karmic situation. Right, divine masculine. I'm tired of looking like an asshole. I don't think I need to be stringing this person along anymore. And there's a lot of disappointment. I mean, they're getting hit from both angles, guys. This sensation of brokenheartedness, even the karmic situation is a reflection of that. Everything. Like, look at all this damage that I've done. Look at all this damage that I've done. And I can't even move, move on, right? Eight of cups in reverse. It's, it can't even be remotely healthy for divine masculine. Why? Oh, bump to the camera. Come on, camera. There we go. Why? Why is Divine Masculine feeling it like that? Why does it have to be so painful? Why does it have to be so karmic? I'll tell you why. Because, again, sometimes you got to tear down the old piece of shit shack before you can build the big, beautiful crystal castle in its place first. Guys, the universe is clearing a path. It's paving the way for you and Divine Masculine. That's all that's going on. Why? Because you're changing. You're shifting. Look, the devil... In reverse, next to the Seven of Pentacles. Recent past for Divine Masculine towards you, Divine Feminine. How do they feel towards you? Recent past, right. So, that energy of attachment you're letting go. What, what are the two things on the internet that everybody does seem to get correct about Twin Flames? you got to detach. And you are one soul in two bodies. Now, all the other crap about healing and mission and fixing your past and clearing karma and doing inner child work, all of that stuff maybe is fine ordinarily, but this is not ordinary, guys. This is not soulmates. This is twin flames. All of that other stuff isn't going to help you because it's all mental stuff. And this is not a journey of, a mi of the mind. This is a journey of the soul. The soul is consciousness, not thought. It's not mental. It's awareness. So all that other modalities that you're seeing on the pop culture internet, the pop culture version of Twin Flames, it's not working for you, is it? Right. Okay, so detaching, devil in reverse, seven of pentacles. Mmm, do you see where I'm going with this now? Do you understand why I just explained all that to you? You are detaching. 
Divine Masculine is feeling it too. It's embedded, guys. It's embedded. And they're perfectly willing to take the time and be patient and let this connection grow. They might not have said anything to you yet, but guys, look at their life situation. And again, fuck social media. I don't care if they're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, shit posting about how great their life is. Everybody does that. I'm here to tell you, it's not great, guys. It's not break, and it's extremely painful. It's very heartbreaking. Look at this. Five of Cups, guys, right at the center of the reading. This is what I'm talking about. They're miserable without you, and they fucking know it. They're starting to become aware of that fact. Wait, I know why I have this big hole in my heart. I've been trying to live through my karmic situation, looking for happiness in these other people, and it's always been right there. It's always been with Divine Feminine. Lots of suffering, lots of heartbreaking revelations for Divine Masculine present energy, right? We still got eight empty cups. I still feel like I can't move on. It's like they got to suffer for just a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, fine, Divine Masculine, but it's not going to matter, guys. What did I tell you? What did I tell you last week, I believe it was, when we were going through the full moon in Sagittarius? No. Yeah? I don't remember. It was a full moon, and there was a partial lunar eclipse. It was like last week, right? Guys, it's time for endings and new beginnings. This is a cycle. This is a cycle, right? And so next week, things are going to be a lot different, okay? But as for right now, Divine Masculine, I'm just going to suffer for a little bit longer. That's why the Eight of Pentacles comes out next to the Nine of Pentacles. Guys, this is divine intervention. This is an inspiration. Divine Masculine is willing to do the work to live their best, most amazing life. But this Five of Cups is telling you it's, it's almost like, I mean, it's kind of like this hanged man coming out over here. I got to wait just a little bit longer. I got to go deeper, right? How far back are we going to pull the rubber band, Divine Masculine? So Divine Masculine is feeling it too. It's work, guys this change. And for Divine Masculine, it seems very, very karmic. It's very heavy, dense energy for Divine Masculine. Lots and lots of suffering. Now, that situation, it's on the way out. It's falling apart. Where are we going? Where are you going? I'll tell you where. It's right up your alley. Divine Feminine. Don't you see the magician? <laughs> Judgment in reverse? Guys, they, they, it, it doesn't matter how hard they resist this destiny with you. It's going to happen. And remember what I told you a minute ago when I was reading these cards, the whole detaching thing. They're feeling it. Guys, what do I tell you on this channel over and over and over again? Isn't there something about this journey? You have this nagging suspicion that there is something deeper than this person. There's something else that you're learning and changing and growing from here other than this physical person, magician. Right, that's why all those healing modalities don't work. Clearing karma, fixing your childhood wounds. You see the twin flame couples on YouTube. Oh, we're in twin flames and we're here to tell you about it. Guys, those are soulmates, okay? Your divine masculine is not gonna come out and go, oh, I get it, we're twin flames, let's do our mission now. Uh, uh, no, uh, no. No, the soul is not going to prove itself to you. Again, that's all mental stuff. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm really happy for those people. No problem. Okay? And I really think they're just trying to help you. <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> they're not helping you, guys. You're on a twin flame journey, not a soulmate journey. Those other so-called twin flame couples, they're just confused, guys. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm glad that they are there. How do you know who you are until you see who you are not first, right? I have no problem with that. I fully accept what this is. But guys, you're on a twin flame journey, okay? Magician next to judgment in reverse. Don't you see? There's nothing for you to figure out. There's nothing for you to understand. There's no thought. This is not a journey of the mind. It's a journey of the soul. It's a journey of consciousness. You are your twin flame at the level of the soul. It's being. It's source, it's consciousness. That's your twin flame. There's nothing for you to figure out. You th you're looking at the other person and you're going, what are they doing? What are they thinking? What are they having? Right, that's why there's separation. You're in separation consciousness. That's what they've always called that for thousands of years, even before the pop culture people on the internet took over twin flames. 
I mean, it's not even a twin flame teaching. It's a, it's a deep Zen teaching, separation consciousness. There's me and there's you. We are separate. When you live through the ego, thought, the mind, you see an other person. What are they doing? Who is separate from you, you get separation. When you transcend the mind and align with the soul, which is your twin flame, remember, one soul, two bodies, they call that unity consciousness, union. And again, traditional Zen spiritualism, they've always called it unity consciousness. The pop culture twin flame community, they just grabbed a hold of that terminology and perverted it. Mm, I get it now, Kurt, right. Unity consciousness is the soul. You transcend the duality of the mind, me and you, duality, separation, and you align with your soul, which is unity consciousness, where you are your twin flame, there's only one of you, and that's when they come back. That's when they unblock you, they start talking to you. You're one with this person. There's no other, okay? But that's not gonna be understood. That's not gonna make sense to the mind because it's not a journey of the mind. It's a journey of the soul, which is consciousness. Is this making sense to you? This is the answer you've been searching for, Divine Feminine. I got it right here. Guys, there's a reason I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. I've coached over 4,000 people. I've caused more unions than anybody else out there. My twin flame is permanently in my life. How did I do it? Because this is your soul's journey and I treat it that way. I take out all the confusing stuff, all the healing, all the mission, the karma, all that stuff that is separation consciousness masquerading as spiritualism is out. It's out. You're going to get the true spiritual journey, guys. And right now, you're going to get 30% off when you pay in full for my Introduction to the Journey online video coaching program. I've never done this before, right? It's Black Friday. Also today, Saturday, Sunday, tomorrow, and Cyber Monday tomorrow. That's it. 30% off with coupon code ALLSTAR at the checkout when you pay in full. I've never done this before, guys. It's so crazy. I'm kind of nervous to do it, to be honest with you, because that's a, that's a fat fucking discount. Oh my God, but whatever, guys, you need it. You deserve it. 30% off my already very low price. It, it's already not that much money, guys. All these other coaches selling you healing modalities, and again, I'm not talking shit. I know they're just trying to help. I know everybody's just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on, okay? but it's not helping, all right? It's not working for you. <laughs> and they're charging you like, ah, uh, you know, 2,000 bucks, 3,000 bucks, 5,000 bucks, fuck that shit, guys. My coaching, 300 bucks, that's it. And you can get 30% off right now when you pay in full with coupon code ALLSTAR. Look in the description box below. If you're not following me, get 30% off all through the weekend and Monday, sale ends soon, sign up today, guys. Now. If you cannot afford my already really low prices, even with the discount, no problem, guys. I do have payment plans. You can get started today for $60, 60 or 70 bucks. You don't get the Black Friday discount, but whatever, right? You're looking to end the suffering, no problem. It's still not that much money. It's still not that much money. Three, $400, guys. I'll take that and I'll take that. You pay me 50, 60 bucks, 70 bucks a month, done. For six months, 60 or $70, get the gold package, guys. Get the gold package, get a platinum, you get a one-on-one -on -one with me. Gold package, you get two months of the group calls, you get access to the videos, eight and a half hours of videos. I'll give you action steps that you can implement right now to make the necessary lifestyle changes to shift energetically into the consciousness of your soul, not thought, not ego, not me and you. What do I do about divine masculine? What are they doing? How do I fix them? I'm supposed to be with them, they, their, this person. Separation, nope, you gotta transcend that. That's what this is all about, guys. Consciousness, the soul. You're getting out of the mind, out of duality, out of there's me and there's them. What do I do about them? What are they doing? I gotta be with them, blah, 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 blah. No, fuck that. You go within. <laughs> I'm a lively guy too. You'll enjoy my coaching program. There's calls, group calls for a week. There's the private Facebook group, not my public New World All-Star Facebook group now, not that one, but the private closed Facebook group for students. Nobody can even see that you're in there. Your friends and family can't see that you're in there. You can get in there, ask us your questions any time of the day, anywhere in the world. We comb through there and make sure all questions get answered. I have two coaches assisting me. There's group calls. 
There's the books, videos. I got it all, guys, and it's not expensive. Sign up today, guys. 30% off when you play it, pay in full. Well, isn't this interesting? Guys, this devil card came out yesterday? Was it yesterday? I know it was recent, and here it is again, and here it is right now in this Oracle card. What is up with that, guys? I think, Divine Feminine, we are releasing the illusion of separation. That's what forms attachment. That's why everybody tells you, you got to detach from your twin flame. And then they turn around and they start telling you crap about healing, mission, and karma and fixing your inner child so that you can be with your twin flame. You're doing it all for your twin flame. There's them over there. I got to get that person. So I got to do all this crap to be with them, which is exactly why they're running because you're treating it like there is a them. Okay. This is real detachment. This is an art, Divine Feminine. Am I making sense to you? I thought so. Let's read from the book. God, this is so good. This is so good, God. You are absolutely breaking Divine Masculine's heart. <laughs> no wonder they're losing their freaking mind. Let's see. This is card number 15. Where are you at there? Devil's Play. This should be... A, I've never drawn this one before. Here, I'm going to hold it up here so we can look at the beautiful artwork as I read the message. Message! The two Greek... Dionysian players in Devil's Play symbolize the law of celebration. A Dionysian, 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 yep, Dionysian exaltation of life and its hard work, bedevilments and erotic pleasures. Hmm, interesting. Laugh your fears and sorrows away. Dance and drink to your successes, for life is a Saturnian harvest. Once you have made the wine, drink it. Lift your spirits by passion and play. Recreate yourself through recreation. Through drink, music, and mind-altering activities, become uninhibited and irreverent. In your iconoclasm, you will see a new way and break through Saturnian discipline and social convention. Free yourself and become natural, spontaneous, and original. The shadow or negative side of devil's play. Here we go. Of course, you risk stepping off the edge under the influence of intoxicated madness. Stone blind like the dodo bird, you perform misdeeds. Out of ignorance, you are the devil. Watch out. Exactly. Guys, you're no longer ignorant. Don't you see? <laughs> Your eyes are wide open, Divine Feminine. That's why Divine Masculines... Life situation is blowing the fuck up. That's why we're getting the Page of Cups, right? Go fishing, Divine Masculine. Find that serpent. What are you chasing, Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine is going to be chasing her tail as long as you are, Divine Feminine. Stop chasing her tail. This person is you. This person is you. It's time to shut all that crap down. And last but not least, well, there's two more cards after this, but as far as the karmic is concerned, it's cooked, guys. It's fucking over. King of Pentacles and the star in reverse. Wah, wah, wah. Right, exactly. Guys, Divine Masculine is miserable. Miserable! And the only thing they can think about is you right now. Now, they're going to start reaching out. They're going to start talking to you. You're going to feel better as a precursor. Go watch my free coaching videos all over YouTube. There's, there's hundreds of them. Find out why I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. Go watch my free coaching videos. You don't even have to give me any money. Right? Just go watch the free stuff. Look at this. Five of wands in reverse next to the hermit. Guys, it's done. It's fucking done. They're not even going to try to start any shit with you. That's a beautiful thing. They're just going to start chasing, guys. They know this connection is real. And they're going to be giving up real soon. Or I should say giving it up. Guys, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe so that you get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Feminine. Have a happy Saturday.